Hello everyone, welcome back to another coin video. Today I'm going to be talking about five things that every coin collector needs. And I'm not meaning just like fancy stuff that you can have just to, you know, make your coin collection cool. I'm talking about like basic needs that you need to up your collection aside from being a beginner. So if you're looking to advance your experience, you're also going to have to probably advance your spending in your supplies. So it's not very expensive stuff. You may end up spending like, let's say like 50 to $60. That's not that much um, compared to how much you could pay for these items because they could be a lot more expensive, but it's not that bad. So if you have 50 to $60 to spend, then this video is just right for you. Or if you're just looking for some ideas to get for some things, or if you only want to pick up a few of these things, this is definitely the video you guys need to be watching. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with something that you actually can't hold. So you guys need a bank account. And you may be like, why do I need a bank account? So what banks allow you to do is, depending on the bank, you need to make sure to check if your bank actually lets you do this and if they let you do it for free. They let you get boxes of coins. This one's obviously empty. I've already been through it and I actually keep rolls of coins. But they will give you, let's say this was a nickel roll, just a box full of nickels. And then you can go through them, look through them, roll hunt. This is a 1976 Denver roll that I rolled myself. And I actually have a video about how to roll coins. I'll link that in the description below. But you can get boxes of pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters and half dollars and dollar coins, not the large dollars. Some banks do have large dollars, but I don't know if they have them in rolls. But you can get a lot of coins for face value just by roll hunting. So that's definitely a necessity that you need. Then, the next thing that you need as a coin collector is gloves. You need gloves. Now, I, I just bought these from Walmart. I'll link to some of the description below. All this stuff is going to be linked below, by the way. But this is 100 gloves, and I got it for like 5 to $7, and that's actually what I'm using right now, and they're kind of dirty. Um, that's because I've been using these for a while. I, I wouldn't recommend like keeping them over days. I'm just, I'm filming a lot of videos at the moment. So I just have these on for like a few videos and then I throw them away. But roll hunting, I'd probably change them after every time you roll hunt. So like if you do three boxes, then throw them away. If you do one box at one time, throw them away after that. Don't keep them because it's, I mean, it's a hundred of them. Like you don't really need to keep them that long. So Next thing you need as a coin collector is you need a scale. It doesn't have to be this exact one, but this is the one that I have. And it's a really nice scale. It's electronic and I think it's just double A's, triple A's maybe. Let me see here. Well, if I can undo it. Yeah, so just triple A's. These are actually the batteries I got with it. And I've had this thing for like three years. And the batteries still work because it still turns on. So, so this thing is really handy, especially when you're trying to figure out 1982 pennies as well as trying to figure out if some coins are silver or not, like if it's an estimate mark that you find. And it may be silver, but you just need to weigh it. And uh, I, there's another thing that's one of the essentials that I have here that will um, help with telling you how much the item weighs, besides just looking it up. So I definitely get one of these. Helps out a lot. The next thing you need is some kind of magnifier. You can either get this little tiny one that you can use, which... I've used it for a while. Or you can get what they call a double loop set. So what this is, it's just a hands-free one, which is really nice because you don't have to hold it. But it's essentially just like glasses. But yeah, you can just kind of use these, put them on your head, and then you can just hold the coins. And So these are really nice to see up close without having to actually touch without having to hold anything. And you also have these lights on the sides. I think the batteries are dead on mine, but I've had it for a few years. It also comes with a head strap if you don't just want the normal glasses. And then a few different lenses for both of them. So yeah, definitely pick one or the other or both. Both are useful. And then the last thing that I would recommend is the United States Coins Whitman Official Red Book. And this book is so amazing and has helped me figure out so many 
coin questions that I've had and has actually helped with a lot of information that I have um, made videos about on this channel. And what it does is it tells you all of the years, all of the mint marks, how much they made, and tells you pretty much everything you will ever need to know about coins, about which ones you need, everything, even how to tell uh, the difference in 1982 pennies, or if it's a 1909 VDB, or what's the difference between a 1913 Variety 1 Buffalo Nickel between a Variety 2 Buffalo Nickel. Tells you everything, shows pictures. Let me pull up almost. I can just flip to a random page, boom, picture of what it looks like. Boom, pictures. Just pictures. More pictures. This is actually half cents, like really early US, like really early US. It even talks about some colonial, gives history. That wasn't colonial coins, by the way, but it talks about the history of the coin and just really cool information, facts like that. So this is my top five. These two are kind of the same one. I move this around here. This is my supply list for the top five things you need to up your coin collecting game to be a better coin collector because you need to roll hunt every once in a while to be able to find the coins you don't have. You need gloves to be able to protect the coins that you find and the coins that you collect. You need this book to be able to tell which dates you need, how to figure out certain things, and how rare it is because you may find a coin and not think it's very valuable and then go into this book and realize it's a $20, $30, $40 dollar coin that you just found by roll hunting. You need a scale to be able to tell what 1982 penny you have or if you're trying to figure out if something is silver and then you also need these to be able to figure out large and small mint dates and also to be able to find 1909 VDB which is it's kind of small you can see it with just your with just your eye but it's a little easier with these things but yeah that's pretty much it though for this list I, all of this stuff like I said will be linked below as well as other coin supplies that I use regularly so yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up Share it with all your coin collecting friends. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff or any video ideas, go and comment those below. If you have not already, go and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post more videos like this one. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on collecting.